I refuse to call him Mahatma. Mm. I've never called him Mahatma. Mm. I will. I've never called him Mahatma. I will never call him Mahatma. Right. I took this position because when you defy a political uh, leader or a politician, then you rarely end up doing an objective analysis of their pluses and minuses. And therefore, I wanted to understand Sri Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi uh, from a very real perspective on the basis of his conduct, on the basis of his speeches, on the basis of his decisions, which obviously had a long-term consequence for Bharat. And we continue to pay the price in one way or the other, notwithstanding the fact that he certainly had fantastic ideas on how to decolonize Bharat. Let me also say that. There are both sides to the person. But ultimately, when you do an analysis of the person, it's almost like a balance sheet. You have to find out was it overwhelmingly good or bad? That's a question that you have to ask. And anybody in public life cannot ex escape that kind of scrutiny. My sense is that Bharat's first minority leader was Sri Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi because he rode to power within the Congress after the demise of Sri Tilak in August 1920 on the strength of the Khilafatists. And according to me, that was the first Islamist movement in modern Bharatiya history, which had set the tone and had set the ball rolling for the partition of Bharat on religious lines. Because a movement that was lying in wait for an opportunity was finally given an opportunity on a platter by a so-called Hindu leader. So this is why I refuse to call him Mahatma. Coupled with his inexplicable conduct at the time of riots, particularly during partition, when Hindu blood was being spilt left, right and center, I wanted to do a fairly, let's call it, a hit reset button to see before Mahatma, what was he and whether the title was bestowed upon him with justification or did he end up uh, taking advantage of the title. In the process, he became the Pied Piper who was walking the Hindu population towards what I thought was fairly clear genocide. And that's why I have my reservations about calling him Mahatma.